there are hundreds of thousands of custom clothing options available in the Roblox avatar shop, but why not make your own? In this Roblox quick tips video, I'm going to show you how you can create and upload your own custom clothing to Roblox that you can wear or even sell on the Roblox marketplace. We'll be covering shirts, t-shirts, and pants in this video because they're the most straightforward. The process for each is pretty similar. You just draw a picture and then you upload it. You'll need an art program to get started. You can use any tool you're comfortable with, but two popular free options are Paint.net and GIMP. You can even edit images in your browser using Photopia. There's links for all of that in the description. Now t-shirts are the easiest because it's just a picture slapped on your character's torso. All you have to do is draw a picture, any picture, and upload it to Roblox. Roblox recommends that your picture is 512 pixels wide by 512 pixels tall, but that's not a requirement. Shirts and pants are a little more complicated because it's not just one picture pasted on the front, they're images that wrap all the way around your character, so you're going to want to use the official Roblox templates for those. The links for those are in the description as well. For shirts and pants, just download those templates, load it into your art program, and start drawing. It's just like making a t-shirt except that this time you have to draw inside the lines, which is difficult for some of us. The template shows how your image will wrap around a character. Each part of the image will show up on a different area. Now if you want your clothing to look good on an R15 character, make sure you pay careful attention to those dotted lines in the template. If you have an R6 character with tree trunk legs, it doesn't matter. But for an R15 character, those dotted lines show you where the upper leg, lower leg, and feet are going to go on that image for the pants, and there's a similar setup for the shirts as well. If you're not careful with this, things can get messy. Once you've designed your awesome clothing, it's a good idea to test it before uploading it to Roblox. To see how it looks on a character, just open a place in Roblox Studio and upload your image in the Asset Manager. You can check out our quick tip on uploading assets to Roblox Studio here. With your clothing loaded into the game, just make a new dummy by going to Plugins and Build Rig. You can create a few different types to see how it will look on a variety of avatars. Then add a shirt graphic to test a t-shirt, just a shirt to test a shirt, or add pants to test... well, to test pants. Click on the clothing object and then just change the template image to your new image to see your clothing on the dummy. You can even launch the game, open your character in the Explorer, and add your clothing to your avatar directly to see how it looks animated. Once you're happy with your design, it's time to upload it to Roblox. Open the Roblox website, go to Create, and then click on the tab that matches what you want to upload. Choose the file, give it a name, and then hit Upload. Shirts and pants each cost 10 Robux to upload, but t-shirts are free. However, because they're free, you can't sell t-shirts unless you do later pay the 10 Robux fee for them as well. Well, that's it for this video because I am out of time. If you want more quick tips, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the bell. And if you want longer tutorials like how to make your own tycoon game in Roblox, make sure you check out the link in the description below. I've got to run. You see, a seagull stole my lunch earlier, and it's almost dinner time, so I'm going to go see if I can steal some food from him.